Yo, what is going on, everybody? Llama, and we are back with some Call of Duty playing Black Ops 3. Some domination on some of the new DLC. This map is Verge. I think it's a remake of uh, Bonsai from World at War, which I never played that map. Didn't play the DLC maps, but um, that was pretty cool for domination. Kind of sucks for TDM. It's too big, but I'll get into that in a little bit. What I wanted to talk about is Call of Duty 4 getting remastered. So there is some screenshots going around. Some of them look legit. I'm going to use a thumbnail and link this one in the info I found online. I think it was on Reddit. This one looks really photoshopped, so I don't know how much of this one is true, but the other ones look legit, and there was uh, screenshots of it on the uh, PlayStation Network. Somebody accidentally released it early. Now, people are like, how can somebody be so stupid to release it early? So, I actually have nothing to do with Call of Duty. I was watching a YouTube video earlier, and uh, Blink-182's new song came out yesterday, and they were like, yeah, it was supposed to come out today, but somebody uploaded it to YouTube and didn't use the uh, schedule uploader, or they actually, or they made it private and accidentally public, uh, made it public instead. So they're like, yeah, it shows you even giant uh, music corporations can uh, fuck up pretty bad. So it got leaked. If Sony was the one who leaked it, this is cool. And uh, Activision and Call of Duty are really going along with it. Like the Infinity Ward Twitter are putting hints out about Call of Duty 4 being remastered and. I don't think they would do this if this was fake. I think they would just leave it alone and let the hype die down because people are going to be really pissed off if it's not. So, now, how from the uh, screenshots I seen, like the one I said, I think I'm going to talk about it now. It looked a little fake. I can't verify it. But what they're going to do is Call of Duty Infinite is going to be the new one. So, that is supposed to be the new Call of Duty game with like uh, Space Call of Duty or whatever Destiny mixed in with Call of Duty. I don't know what the hell they're going to do with it. But uh, from my understanding, in order to get the. Um, Call of Duty 4 Remastered, you're going to have to buy the uh, $110 bundle, so everyone knows each year Call of Duty get the $60 edition, the $80 hardened edition, and then the $150 edition that comes with like uh, one of, like night vision goggles and just a bunch of stupid shit that they put in that cost them $0.08 cents to have little uh, Chinese kids uh, make, but somehow they sell it for like $150 profit, so it's always like some weird gimmick they put in. I don't know if they put in one with uh, Black Ops 3 or not. I'm sure they did put something in, but yeah, Call of Duty 4. So if you buy the $109 edition, you're going to get the remastered version. And what I'm going to think of right now is you're not going to be able to buy the game separately. So what they're going to want you to do is buy the uh, combo pack. So that way they can say, oh, it's free, but it's not free because you're paying the extra money for it. So I don't really care. I'll drop $110 just to play Call of Duty 4 remastered. I know a lot of people saying how stupid it is, but it's like... At least we get it remastered. I'm sure they'll remaster uh, supply drops and everything into the game. I don't know uh, how they're going to do with that. So, Call of Duty 4, if anyone didn't play it, um, everyone says it's like the gold standard for Call of Duty, how perfect it was. Um, probably the best Call of Duty game, but there was some really annoying things in it. There was uh, Frag Times 3, and there was no flak jacket in the game, so people would just spam frag grenades. Uh, that was really, not game breaking, but you can kind of compare it to the uh, noob tubes in Modern Warfare 2. It wasn't as bad, but it was really annoying for search and destroy games when you'd start out and people would just lob freaking frag grenades halfway across the map. So I always played hardcore search in that too, so it would just like be anywhere within like a five mile radius and it would just kill you. So it was kind of annoying, but like I said, it is probably the best Call of Duty game I've ever played. I've got like 29 days or something sad played in it because I played it for like two and a half years straight. Didn't really like World of War at all, so I just went back to uh, Call of Duty 4 for a year, so, um, yeah, now I was seeing some other rumors, like White Boy made a video where he's saying Call of Duty Infinite means they're going to remake MW2 and MW3 along with Modern Warfare 4. Now, I can't see that happening. If uh, COD 4 is a pre-order bonus that you get the game for, then I don't. it would make no sense to make MW2 and MW3 the uh, ones that you get, you know what I mean? Like, they'd make, like, MW2 the... Uh, bonus and called for the one you buy instead of doing all that so i don't know how they're going to do it but what it looks like is we're going to get call of duty 4 remastered on the new consoles which will be freaking awesome just because infinity war and activision have been sucking it up lately so black ops 3 i really enjoy this game i think it's one of the better call of duties but um and i do like the wall running aspect i like how they copied titanfall i hate the boost jumping though the boost jumping is just super annoying when people just put like the uh perk on for like extra boost and they're just jumping over your heads it's like come on man i'm not playing freaking halo here i'm playing call of duty i get that you want to advance it with uh copying the wall running but can we get rid of the boost jump so it would be really great to play call of duty 4 remastered um like i said a lot of people want mw2 remastered and a lot of people are shitting on that game like only use me blade was like the game sucked it's like dude you probably had like 30 days played um wings of redemption I think he made a video where he's like, it wasn't that great. That dude, I used to watch his videos back in the day. That fucking dude had like two tenth prestige counts on there. So I don't know how people can spend that much time on a game that quote unquote just sucked and was the worst Call of Duty ever. I liked it. Um, 
if they remake it, they're gonna have to fix Danger Close in the noob tubes, which, this is one thing I never got what they fixed, because they said, uh, anyone who played that game knew how overpowered the explosives were, they were just like, yeah, we can't just take Danger Close out of the game, because it would be too risky if our code fucks up, then, like, the entire multiplayer experience would be screwed for a month or however long it took us to fix it, it's like, Alright, so you can't take it out, but they always do weapon patches, they have like, especially nowadays, like a gun's good, and they have to like, oh shit, we gotta tune that down, can't have people having fun with a gun anymore, gotta make them all equal, so it's like, if you're gonna do that with guns, why couldn't you do that with Danger Close, just keep it in the game, but drop the uh, explosive damage and the splash radius down to like nothing, so the perk's useless, like if you use it, it's pretty, pretty much gonna do nothing, it'd be the equivalent of like getting shot in the foot one time with a uh, pistol, like, I never understood why they couldn't just tone down the damage, that would have fixed it, you don't have to take it out of the game, so, if they do remake it, they could probably do that, but, um, yeah, the one-man army noob tubes are fucking ridiculous, I think, uh, Wings of Redemption had a video on that, actually, where he had, like, 100 kills within, like, 3 or 4 minutes, because he would just, uh, keep reloading him, and with that perk data, it allowed you to change classes, so you'd have your two noob tubes, um, you can have a secondary with two noob tubes, too, I think, and then Danger Close, um, which made your explosives better, and your Danger Close Pro made your score streak explosions better too. And you'd fire off the two noob tubes, and then you'd press Y or triangle to switch classes. You switch to the same class, and then you get two noob two more noob tubes, and you just keep firing and firing them across the map. So that was uh, very annoying. But like I said, I am freaking pumped that uh, COD 4 is getting remastered. So if you want to check out the info in this video, links for everything will be down there. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you want to. I'm going to try to revive this channel, even though it doesn't have any subscribers. But getting into playing Call of Duty recently again. So uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. All right. Peace.